CM was the Bahama. And as promised you guys, I told you that lazima ndako ko na interview. And I told you I'm not going to do my first interview. My humble beginning will be very big. That's what I told you. So today I'm pleased and I'm blessed to have the one only one. You have seen her each and every avenue. Umemwona pia akitusumbua Instagram. And uh, what else? Sasa mwa tuzingine but nilikuwa namjua tulijiona kama photographer wake. And today she is here. She goes by the name Vivian Kenya. Okay, Vivian Wamboy. Please welcome Vivian Wamboy. Welcome. Thank you very much. Salimani ndio kai kama. Habari ya masiku. Salimani ndio kai kama tumejipatana sasa hizi. Habari ya masiku. How you been? Uh, how do you, how do you feel about uh, disowning me in terms of my photography? Uliko na dhani sasa sasa hivi kwa picha. Ah, let me let me tell you something. Go ahead. No way place uli tuko na fanya last time ndo nafanya sasa hizi. Kini Mungu tu ndio ana. No, no, but 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 this 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 what you used to do there. In fact, in fact, nilianza let me ask you. Is it true kuna zaga kuna zaga ma vikombe? Sasa hivi ndio umeye pastoria pia. Ukuno zake ama vikombe? Lakini nimekuachia. No, ukuno zake ama vikombe au the real. <laughs> eh? Sio nilikuwa naanza kupiga. Who taught you to be a bully? Is it no, your No, no, bully. I'm just asking. No, no, if you No, my yes, my ex boss here. It's, it's not even my ex boss. He's still your boss. He's still my boss. Still talk. He's still direct even my shows sometimes. <laughs> Na kuhurumia angekuwa boss wangu. <laughs> He's still your boss though. Kisi tuna ni bossy. Do you think is a bully? Do you think your boss is a bully? Or do you think your manager is a bully? I've done many I'm going back to the first question. Mm. Do, do you I've think your manager many, is a bully? I've done many jobs. Do you think we should do counseling? <laughs> Maybe you're going through a lot with your management. <laughs> eh? Eh, how is it? Unaendelea aje mama. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Mm-hmm. Okay. How, how how is the family? Good. How is the blended family? Good everything is good. What is blended family? Which question are you asking first? Like what what is blended family? I'm, I'm I'm not I'm not I don't do professional shows like you know professional shows like you have a script like we are having a conversation I don't do professional shows. Like you ask a question way to Jibu. Jibu tu zote pamoja. Blended family na macha nini? So do I start with the first question you asked? Ya kuuza vikombe. Mhm. What yes, is please? Do? So I've done I've, uh, I've done many jobs of mm-hmm. course when mm-hmm. i was starting before i got into the music business yeah. um because just like everyone else mm-hmm. i was looking for livelihood mm-hmm. and i said it in another interview i went mm-hmm. for i saw um an advert in the newspaper yeah saying that there are jobs and what 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 and so mm-hmm. when i went to that location mm-hmm. The jobs that were available zilikuwa hizo unapewa thermos na nini na whatever you go and sell so i said since i'm already here na i was a couple of years ago i was fresh out of college kitambo kidogo 2018 like 21 yeah 21 around that So I did it and I was good I did and I sold everything yeah. uh-huh. but the commission was very little mm-hmm. so I couldn't How much money? Depends so I sold everything niliuza kwa mapo ama vikombe ma bowl na manini I sold everything and I was given 200 bob commission ilikuwa ka 4k ukapewa 200 bob transport lunch everything and your profit kwa kwa 200 kila kitu iko hapo So how, how how is life from 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 that 200 bob to 200,000? <laughs> the transformation. How is life? Well, <laughs> there, there, like, 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 like for instance, can you say maybe there's something that we learn up? Of course. And uh, you see the the diligence of a worker is mm-hmm. in the small things. Yeah. I was a diligent worker then, mm-hmm. just the same way I am now. Mm-hmm. And a diligent worker means someone who is open to learning, yeah. someone who understands mm-hmm. humble spaces, yeah. someone who's willing to work with what they have mm-hmm. to do whatever they can. Mm-hmm. Because most people think eh nikipata ina ina kila kitu yenye nataka ndio nitaanza kufanya. Yeah. But that's not the way it works. You have to start where you are mm-hmm. with what you have with the people you know the mm-hmm. unajua hivyo tu ile tu watu wanaanza kuimba kwa church. Ime 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 me help kwa kwa the music industry and what you do. Ime ni right help now. sana. Uh-huh. Ime ni help sana because uh, one of the things is you know I keep telling uh, my manager I keep telling mm-hmm. Sam mm-hmm. that you know many artists me included when you start a music career you just want to sing yeah utaki story mob utaki maheta utaki mm-hmm. nini but no one tells you what else you'll attract mm-hmm. as you're trying to to just 
walk in your purpose. True. So, you know, it's, it's helped me um, see people mm -hmm. just through, <laughs> through God's eyes. I mm -hmm. always joke with my friends, I say, come on, Takwishi, pon atu, just kiongea na mtu muangalie through filter ya god muangalie that uni mtu wa god eh una muangalie tu na filter ya god god mtu anatoa wapi unaongea na god mm see filter na journey unaona vile wewe vile so wait wait when you when you look at me right now yeah you can actually tell tell that the type of vibe that i bring no i mean that kind of vibe you bring is based on what you say and the things you do but but you have the inner i want to work on that eye of no, it no. You know now that's on my side. Mm -hmm. On your side, you you can do whatever you want. But yeah. on my side, yeah. I have the choice mm -hmm. in how I relate with you. Yeah. In such a way that the way I was saying, you attract many things. Mtu akiku fanya kitumbaya, mtu akiku whatever. Pia wuki fanya mtu kitumbaya. Like you have to be able to just say, mm -hmm. let's be compassionate with one another. Kwa sababu nikianza kukuchukia, uanze kuni whatever. Siju ni You know, mm -hmm. even in future when we need to do something, we won't yeah. be able to do it. Yeah. So people have to be really compassionate just how like how god is with us yeah. sababu we do so many wrong things but he's always like like for instance you know, if 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 i had backlash with with your boss yeah who happened to be my boss or yeah. he used to be my boss yeah singe pata interview acha kauli kwa na backlash na yeye inakuanga choice unachukua kakando i'm saying like so that you do what you need to the, do the way the life is you just yeah. need to treat people yeah you just way. yeah alafu waelewe no si bebe vitu and understand people are different so <laughs> so start to be of come mm. how many years right now in the industry 5 years 5 years mm -hmm. from 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 you selling stuff getting 200 bob and all yeah. that uh does it reflect right now the way you treat people the way you meet people your power of bargaining let me tell you when people want to use you could get to the platform and all that uh -huh. has it helped you well i've had transitions in my career i mm -hmm. would say that when i began mostly it was just about pushing mm -hmm. the brand and even that's how i met some mm -hmm. the process where it was just about pushing the music and getting a lot of visibility mm -hmm. and to a bigger extent mm -hmm. we are not perfect but we have achieved mm -hmm. a lot of what we had set out yeah. and so now the trajectory of the brand has changed a little bit because right now i'm in a position whereby i have to be responsible about what i say yeah. and that means i have to be responsible about what i think mm -hmm. i have to be responsible about what i read like it's a unajua yeah. because right now i am literally mm -hmm. representing god in my sphere yeah. because when you're influencing so many people mm -hmm. and then you're careless mm -hmm. you're a bad example you mm -hmm. don't care you are misleading the children of god yeah. and when that happens eh mambo yako yendangi poa of late na sio kutaja mungu sana sana are you born again i i what i would say um you know asking I, you that question i'm also afraid <laughs> from the answer to anipa because every time someone ask me are you a godly person are you born again yeah. I, i tend to hesitate first because, because i believe that my answer now will depend with how that person will view me for yes him. yes so that's usually the tricky part and because so you're born our, again in our country we have a, a lot of perceptions uh -huh. okay what is your meaning when you say born you're, again? you're born again as in you are a believer of christ yes i'm a big believer in christ and in uh you, you you believe in god yes absolutely because you but know, if you believe in god and you are believe of christ and whatever christ gave you or whatever god gave you as a yeah. talent and all that yeah. you know you should use the talent and everything that god gave you to bring souls back to him yes do you do that <laughs> i think i do from your songs i think from just my energy and my vibe because mm -hmm. remember that jesus was accused of hanging out with drunkards and prostitutes. It's the truth. He was not accused. He was actually hanging out with them. He was, uh -huh. but hiyo kitu ilikuwa inafanya the religious yeah. sector inakuwa na so much violence spite towards him. Uh -huh. And even all that was a build up uh -huh. up to his crucifixion. Uh -huh. Yet he was a truth teller uh -huh. and even more so, he was our he was our link to God. You know, he's our he's our best experience. Uh -huh in terms of knowing who God is through Jesus mm -hmm. because he came to the world as man you get what so I mean? how do you bring people to Christ Which I think vibe? for me I think for me no 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 I'm, I would I'm, say, I'm asking in terms of if if I've never like kutana where we in person yes. and I'm listening just to your music and I'm yes. following you on Instagram and yes. all that for one um, I would say I try to be very deliberate with my messages mm -hmm.
I try to be. I'm how not to form a thumb stop at cat. What's wrong with you these days? What? So rude is it called cogeneration or gang get on? Deliberate diligence. Junior mean to me be to to go as Sasa hiyo ndio advantage ya Google. Imagine you can grow. You can just no, Google no like. and learn the word because what would be the sense uh-huh. I come here mm-hmm. and under speak yeah. just because I want people. Unajua see what you do. But you want to get to people. You need to use their language. No, they can listen. Naweza ongea Kiswahili na ongea Kizungu. I speak both. But, but I will I, not but, but, I will but, not but, in some external fresh I will not apologize soma, for soma. my for my fluency. Yes. Uh, <laughs> We're sorry. <laughs> So you, your energy and and, and, and the, the things that my, you post, my, do you think they can change someone's life? Like, hey, I'm not a poor car, I'm going to be born. I try to be very real. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you, I am not perfect, no and I'm is. not I'm not looking to be perfect. Mm-hmm. In fact, you have to see life goal. See, go go. Sababu siwezi. I go kwa target. I go kwa target. But I know that I have a role, and I am just going to do my part. Mm-hmm. So if I do my part the best way I can mm-hmm. because firstly for me to be able to change lives mm-hmm. pia mimi life yangu lazima i change right mm-hmm. so I'm on a journey just like all other people if I listen to your music can I change my life to be like... I think if you listen to my music some of my songs mm-hmm. for example ukisikiza um, which one chum 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 mm-hmm. Chumchum is just a love song. It's a very very well laid out with proper lyrics. Sema una chotaka nikupe. Very ni story. Ni kama vile ungeambiwa eh write about your best relationship you are from to. You know, it would be a story that would be written and would be presented to people. Busy busy blaze blaze blaze. Unajifanya na uko hungry. Unajiduno uko hungry. Unajiduno uko hungry. Are they hungry for God? No no no. That song when I sang it I put myself in a space of uh, how would a girl mm-hmm. respond when vitu zingine kama what the boys were singing the cancel yeah. when they sing mm-hmm. to a girl no yeah. najua just vile unasema kuko na area ya connectivity mm-hmm. so u mse akikuja anze kuniambia eh leo utajua ni kuserereka yeah. sijui ni kufanya nini uh-huh. eh, nani anasema nani eh, bp you got the you got the kiss to my chi you got the kiss to my you know all those things uh-huh. very sexual connotations uh-huh. so mimi nikienda hapo nianze kumwambia you know jesus is lord is of to simbaya uh-huh. but there'll be an element of unrelation sababu u ata feel eh hey, wana nikujia na mafuta zingine sielewi uh-huh. uh-huh. So I said I have to sing chenye mimi demneza semani ambie umse hiyo mm-hmm. vibe unaniletea hapana mm-hmm. unajidu na uko hungry like unajidu una mm-hmm. eh unajigamba you know yeah, how men yeah. wanapenda kujigamba I don't know I, 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 <laughs> Men wana penda kujia. Ta pride by, by, by men na mashani. But but man no, is most to men. Man is yeah, to man is to ego. Uh. So anataka kusema unajua vile experiences za madimu wengi akikatiwa especially a guy who wants to sleep with mm. you just come and start telling you hey, this is my ride yeah. una kunywa nini mm. una eh? mm. like, you know very Anajibu. and even and uh, unajidu <laughs> and then cheapening you yeah. yet uo chali pengine stories zake haziwezi hajui kukukatia do you think ni 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 ni, ni men's fault like vile i want to do swahili na stay kusema swahili cuz ni kiongea kiswahili yangu inakaa ni kama ina sound Yeah. So kweli. But ukisema ati 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 men chipen chi, chi? chipen ladies. Chipen chipen ladies. Do you think it, it's our fault or is your fault? <laughs> I think it's both ways. I don't think it's both ways. You think it's who? It's ladies. Oh why? It's how you behave. <laughs> like ni kueleze hivi if I'm having a product kwa 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 shelf ya 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 nini ya ya supermarket. Mhm. I have to choose the yes. expensive one the cheap one and yes. all that. And there's a way I'll approach the cheap one and there's a way I'll approach the expensive one. You understand? <laughs> so we we're in a generation no listen to me. We're in a generation where But cheap is not always uh, the expensive is not always good. There are things that are cheap and they are good. I know but 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 not even cheap let's say affordable. Yeah, very affordable and very good. Like right now Vivian, mimi ni kuona lifestyle unaishi. I hit on a lady. Tumekatiana na yeye and all that. Tukitembea mzee amaanza kuangalia mwanaume anaendesha gari. Now I'll have to work hard because my way of thinking is I can only find a lady if if I have money. 
not my fault at first i believed in love raju <laughs> like jo eh mapenzi kwa na mapenzi like when then you get these questions like yeah. uh uko uko na nini uko una mapenzi ya lipi rent mm. understand mm. <laughs> we are living in a in a in a, in a, in a era of yakutesa online so i see one lady's post and all that <laughs> so from 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 my environment and the way i've been brought up i i, I believed in love yeah but say if you come ya kwamba na feel like Hey, but then you go after the normal cosmo live era sponsors you try to to sugar coat the name but in, in the real sense ni sugar daddy and i i liked how to kiwa high school kwa sugar daddy it used to look bad we kuna sugar daddy so right now vivian right now if 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 somebody hits on you and come with pure love and all that will you listen to them firstly me i'm off the market ni sawa but out of the market off the market pure na but i get your point i get yeah. your point so it's not it's not a bold man it's a bold lady it's mm-hmm. not it's both ways kwa sababu uh. unaona hivyo vile uko na and you have a brilliant case mm. sababu you know kuna watu wana they just want what they want to get from you yeah. una get eh mm-hmm. lakini pia kuna machali mm-hmm. au ni hit and run mm-hmm. they are there mm-hmm. so for me what i always tell people mm-hmm. the solution is understanding who you are kozu kijua we ni nani na kule unaenda mm-hmm. msemwe nyana kuja kuongelesha utajua huyu tuko na that same values vibe, eh utano this vibe huyu mm-hmm. atuna but most of us what I'm saying there's nothing like hit and run what's that uh-huh. channel today this is a public uh, let us jump let me tell you something about hit and run that's what I'm saying now if come hit and run mm-hmm. this is what happens vivian so i'm seeing vivian on instagram yeah Mm, I'm like, hey, you don't want to cap and all that. Mm. Alafu sa caption unaika kwa Instagram I'm like, hey. Shh. You understand? Yeah. Cuz there's a way I can I can I can value you yeah. and kukuweka mali kiwango fulani yeah. before you come meet because of the things you post online. Yeah. Today you're in Masai Mara. Today you are. So I'm also also coming na your expensive kind yeah. of vibe because yeah. this is what yeah. you get. Yeah. And probably I really want to settle with you. <laughs> to be sincere. I'm talking I'm talking from men perspective but they no human no human will just march and go no no is not mtu mtu ajabildiebo so when i meet you then i notice some few things in person naza ku notice aya hey come back last day instagram but how about I balance see. how about balance sababu mm-hmm. pia wewe as a guy yeah. if you want to just date a chick mwenye anakuanga kwa Masai Mara mm-hmm. next week ako mm-hmm. Singapore mm-hmm. yoke kingine ako Seychelles ako Dubai mm-hmm. of course hapo there is something kuna kitu wrong hapo kuna kitu because even for me i post on my social media but if you notice it's not always i post where i am mm-hmm. there are some places i go the experiences and i never post yeah. because i don't feel like i am validated but by being point, at Masai Mara but the point is it, it's very hard for a human being to just sit and run you understand in akuagaje whatever you you had expectation no, you need you need to look for what you you need eh si mimi kuna expectation kwako then kapata wewe ulikuwa na expectation na una unatafuta dem mwenye ana slay all corners not really like how uh, how is she meant to sit down and be still with you ukimpata tuna, she was not still tunaketi na wewe tunaketi na wewe na realizeaje kumbe hizi captions za instagram ume google man you know that smart You understand? Sometimes it's not about Masai Mara and all that. Sometimes, it's not, sometimes it's about I, I think I'm getting so, away when mm-hmm. realize that you apparently you're not what I thought you are. Yeah. You understand? Then after smashing, realize ah, come these captions of course I'm going to say stuff and all that you do this to do that you you do nothing. You you do absolutely nothing. You, you do nothing at all. That just means research should go a, a notch higher. Don't believe everything you read. But uh, but also I believe that even I don't believe even in one night stand personally. I believe even if the first time that you want actually to hit it stay with them like three months, get to know people. What you call my spirit Zimbabwe by the way, people have bad vibes. Uh what wana kuzigi drama, kuna watu wengine wako na depression, kuna watu wengine they are desperately just looking for a man. Yeah. And they don't really care but eh hey, umekuja and that's it and they'll do everything to you yeah. but now we are living in a generation that is so paranoid Par- they don't why, why, why they don't believe in anything oh. if you love someone too much then they're like ai we kona kasoro you're desperate if you don't love someone you, if you don't take someone some place you'll be compared to celebrities but then what's the what's the template that people are using kukua hizi vitu zote ni nini wana what are they feeding off from from so, you guys We are following what you guys are doing. Now now talking about you guys tell me about uh, I I saw something online about blended family. Yes. So I have a daughter mm-hmm. she's 10 now. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Just turned 10. And my husband has a son. Mm-hmm. So how old is he? He's 
Five. Five. Turning six. Ten, five, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, the idea is to try and see if we can try and bring these families together. It's, it's, um, it's a very tricky situation, uh -huh. but mm -hmm. it's possible. Mm -hmm. The only thing is to understand whose role is what, because also these children mm -hmm. have their biological parents. Yeah. But it's just a lot of communication, because I think what people think about blended families, it's, it's like this, it's not like this, it's a very... Mm -hmm. long process because mm -hmm. everyone has to feel like they fit into that space mm -hmm. and they're accepted mm -hmm. my daughter some son mm -hmm. me some when i get kill them to lazima feel to go equation when i get so i mean i think one of the things i've really learned from that whole experience is patience and just continuous communication mm -hmm. and even <laughs> instances where we try and see if like for me, my daughter, the mm -hmm. biological dad is very active yes. in her life. He he contributes a lot. How to is that working with uh, your husband? It's fine, because what happens mm -hmm. is kuna pressure zingine have her deal nazo so heavily. Una get it? Because the dad respects my relationship, and the dad has also he's in another relationship. Mm -hmm. So we have very amicable conversations mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, it's about the child. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. Um, and the same thing on his side. Of course, there are challenges because the mom is not around, but mm -hmm. we are trying to see how can she be more involved. So, Abu, you know, for a child, their biological parents are very important, unless they're dead. Mm -hmm. You know, when they're dead, they're connected uh, to the family. Uh, but if they're alive, uh, but if you know your mom is alive, you know your mom is alive. I actually thought my mom was my sister. Go on. You see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> True story. I thought my mom was my sister. Because I was raised by my grandma, and mm -hmm. uh, my mom was still in school. I think she got me when she was 15 or 16 mm. or 17. Yeah. So, to me, when I was calling my grandmother mom, till today mm. I call my grandmother mom. Mm. And every time I used to call, I, I, I noticed that my I noticed that this is my mother when I was in class 3, I think, in class 4. Mm. Uh, oh, this is not my sister, this is my mother. Did she tell you? She thought I knew. How? But she was never there most of the time. Mm. She like, mm. And I used to see my, my, my grandmother punishing her. Like the same way she punished <laughs> me. So I, I always knew this is mm. So when, when, when it gets to a point, maybe now you are son. Eh? Yeah. I'm a fan of Makosa. Yeah. Sometimes do you feel like you are know, light to dog when punishing him? Yeah. Because you feel like he's not your biological son. Did it's, you do you like do you do the same with your daughter like una punish him to the same way una, una, una punish? I think one thing I do with the kids because I'm uh, I believe so much in discipline. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm mean, looking so many. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I usually say sometimes even like Siju and Apigani ni 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 ni. I say if I see you guys, I'm going to punish both of you. Mm -hmm. You know, and I would just say, of course, it's taken a lot of time and a lot of grace because also the characters of the children are different. different yes. so this is a girl. This is a boy. Mm -hmm. He's got, he's grown in a different upbringing. For me, my daughter has, you know, she's used to me as the mother yeah. and I've raised her all along. Mm -hmm. So for her, I feel like she, she trusts in me mm -hmm. a lot. But for the boy, you find he's, you know, he's a little bit confused about a lot of things here mm -hmm. and there. Mm -hmm. But I feel like what I would say, and maybe someone who's watching and who's trying to blend a family, mm -hmm. don't um, don't push away the biological parents. Make them involved. Mm -hmm. Because what happens, unajua, it's an issue of identity. Yeah. When that child grows up, atako appreciate ulimlea, ulimfanya nini, whatever, those things you did. But they'll always feel a responsibility to the parent. Mm -hmm. And that's the biological parent. Yeah. So it's important that they have a relationship. Because I noticed what you were saying, ah, sorry, Nisha, move on. No, 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 no. It's about the child. The child needs stability. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for my father, but he can't do it. Can't do it. Ah, can't do it. But that's it. So that you have your identity. That's it. I'm going to go to my father. 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 Now, now talking about Kimota Bembendo, what do you think about the generation that we are, we are having right now, the Gengeton? And you actually joined it when you're doing the rec and all that. What do you think about this move? You know, when I did uh, 
uh, accelerator bila unaona kama tu tuna last unaona kama mimi rasi kwa najua ni genge tu au kwa jongo genge tu mimi was vibing uh-huh. um i don't know i think it is it is the reality on the ground i would say that first and foremost na hiyo kitu lazima i hit home what to accept kwanza cuz mm. a lot of people are still in denial eh itasiju itafanya nini sijui itafanya nini okay maybe atujuku later enda but mm-hmm. right now mm-hmm. ni hiyo iko genge if, tone speaking yes, what's actually yes, happening to us yes. right now if people have an issue mm-hmm. with what it is the people who are in charge of creating it yeah. they can talk about elevating it mm-hmm. to a space whereby it's a little bit like ukisikiza like yesterday when i was at the event i listened to kulikuwa of course mziki mob zuchezwa Uh, some Nigerian songs, Kenyans, mm-hmm. whatever. Hizi mm-hmm. zetu za kawaida za mapenzi, mm-hmm. sasa genge tone. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> genge tone speaks the language of the club. Mm-hmm. However, I feel like if there are spaces where it can just be refined kidogo. I like the vibe, I like the beats, I like the flow, I like it. Mm-hmm. But this a kidogo too. Unaona kama accelerator The theme is almost the same. However, iko na mafumbo mingi. Yeah. Una understand eh? Yeah. So people have to be intelligent. Unajua? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sababu sometimes like that hitting it on the zinatajwa oh. pale kwa wimbo. Eh, hey, like it's it's uh, unajua? It's valid, it's valid. Yeah, and and when we reach a space, let me tell you, it affects all of us when a Kenyan song is banned mm-hmm. and not one Kenyan song. Several Kenyan songs, mm-hmm. there is something wrong mm-hmm. with our entertainment. I don't think, I don't think there's anything wrong. But why are they being banned? Nani na ban? Nani na ban? See as a kid mtu wa ban them. Like on YouTube. Let me tell you something Vivian. Eh? Do you know what ni kama skia? Did you notice? Did you notice one thing? Sometimes maybe even the guy who is banning the songs is he's, he's a pervert. Of course. Cuz cuz at the end of the day. So that means we need to work on our moral values. I like because like mimi na kuona hivi I'm seeing listen uh-huh. mimi na kuona hivi I'm seeing Vivian as an artist. I'm seeing Vivian as a mentor. You understand? Mm. But there's someone who will see Vivian like hey, one day as attack and you understand? Yeah. So is it you the problem of the person who's being him? <laughs> of course you left one accord. So I'm thinking the guy is a pervert. <laughs> Cuz Wamlambe is a big song. We don't till to date I won't tell you I won't define what Wamlambe actually means. So be a mafumbo and all that. Hey! But the guy decided to ban it. Why? We end on a Joanna for that. Wamlambe was banned. Yes. I didn't know it was banned. And we told him it's too late. It's already a national anthem. Ah, you if I kubaniwa because mtu anaweza mtu anaweza interpret different. Eh, yeah, we sema at wimbo zina shida at that extent. Kuna zile that they are going straight and you're like, eh, okay, you're now like, that one yeah. Eh. But kuna zile zina baniwa and then you're like the person who banned this song is a pervert. There's something wrong with this man. <laughs> yeah, I get you. No, no. I But do you think point. it will last? You get on do you think it will last? Personally, I, I think, think it will last if you go for a very long time. I it reminds me of Calif Records and Ogopa. Yes, I feel like uh, just the way you're saying, kuna vitu kidogo zinahitaji kuwa cleaned up kidogo. People wako more creative. The same way Octopus did. Yes. Kwa sababu wasani uh, ni very hard upate msanii mwenye hajaimba wimbo yenye it's a little bit more sexual mm-hmm. because sex is something it's there unajua it's 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 sellable <laughs> not even sellable it's 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 a facet of life that so pronounced there, there she goes again facet of life like ni ni na by the way tutaelewana hapo by the way mimi like is madumbe hapo ni mafacet si jibani what's wrong I also read. Mimi mimi ni msefia mimi usoma lakini Naona no, unasoma. Sijaona mafaset hapa. Good job. <laughs> I love this book with the by Wagaro Matai. But what's to me about terms of mafaset hapa? Hizo Chenye na semani. Can, can, can you use those terms in your music? You know how I speak and how I sing is different. Ah, I was in Changanya mimi mimi ya soma hivi. Aya, sikia nakwambia hivi na jaribu ku explainia sasa. Pasi ni kwa state three months. So ah, ni ni we are sorry. We are sorry. Ni me acquire. We are sorry. But 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 do you think it will last? Do you think it get on to last? I think it's going to have to shift a little bit because I know some of the producers who make the music and we were talking about it. Kina Mavu ata kina Magic you know. And we had that discussion with Mavu and he had a very long talk. Na kaniambia they actually sat down with uh, production houses these in media houses and yeah. all these things mm-hmm. and they were discussing about the future of Gengeto mm-hmm. because the vibe is there the vibe is there now kipata vibe usiiache mm-hmm. take the vibe mm-hmm. but kidogo 
elevate it. Yeah, because we uh, need we need now to sell this music outside. Yes. Uh, we need now to thank you. We need now for people to be able to consume it mm -hmm. in a way that it But I love the vibe. Ah, vibe because I even me I love the vibe. Hashtag play KE. Do what you think sell? that was the cause of everything? Uh, of course, most definitely. We ran that campaign in the middle of the year and this year has been the best for Kenyan music. It's got in rotation more than it ever has. Hashtag play KE brought all this. I feel and, and I feel like it's, I feel things. like ile ile pali ilikuwa imengo ilikuwa imebakisha kidogo ili skuma ikafika. So Hashtag play KE is, is Because is, let me tell is, you is, we is, used is, to do I used to do we used to do play KE Kitambo. Yeah. Kitambo even when I started there yeah. were a lot of those campaigns. Yeah. But the campaign this year was different for several reasons. Mm -hmm. When we started pushing that campaign mm -hmm. Because Calligraph was on it, I was on it, Naiba was on it, just a couple of yeah. uh, artists. I was also on it. Was, you were all, uh, also on, on it. And what happened is we started getting called mm -hmm. for big interviews. See, these are big interviews to have that debate. Mm -hmm. Una understand? Yeah. So that means people now were paying attention. Una just know una kwanga una push kitu, and no one is paying attention. Yeah. So the fact that it got the attention of me big media houses, mm -hmm. big interviews. Mm -hmm then it helped propel it. Mm -hmm. Because to discuss yeah. with us, but your campaign, it lasted for, I think, two weeks. Yeah. You know, that's how you change things. Eh? Yeah. So I and, think and it we really... Are here. And I love the fact that these days when you go on YouTube, find like five, three songs. Yes. Number one, two, three, four, Kenyan yes. music. Yes. Kenyan content. Mm -hmm. And... But do you think there was some festival or was an eye opener? It was. Huge. But but this but all this you know it's been a process. All these external events where they bring because our Bunakumbu Kayo backlash was mm -hmm. it last year? Yeah. We had so many big artists, yeah. even Nigerians, yeah. Paul Akami, Sidi Davido me performs, Sidi me rukaruka kwa stage, Ajafanya fanya kitu. Last last people last, are feeling last, ripped last off. Last weekend was thirteen minutes. Guy did thirteen minutes all the way from Nigeria. Skia. So those things happen. Who do you think? Who do you think is the problem? Because I don't think I, I was a radio presenter. Yeah. And when I was doing the, also I was part of the hashtag play key and all that. I was actually telling radio presenters at that time that you are a radio presenter. Yeah. You're the one who creates the culture. Yeah. Don't don't give us that crap of my fans on attack on yeah, My fans to receive and what you actually yes, offering them. Yes. And a lot of radio show wanted to sound cool. Yeah. They wanted to sound western and all that, but. When hashtag play KE came and Gang It On came, I think yeah. the, the rest is history. But yeah. now, how we, how we going to maintain it's up to you guys? I think oh, you yeah. guys should be doing more collabs with these kids. At yeah. least try to show them the commercial side of it. How you can write lyrics. Still talk about what you're talking. Because yeah. at the end of the day, what they're talking is what actually is happening. Yeah? Yes, but it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. There are some things that, you know, you don't have to be that direct. What yeah. about Kimba songs? Saudi Soul, when they did Nishike, yeah. it was very direct, mm -hmm. but ungeskia, especially versus Zao, mm -hmm. skia, ni kama unaingizwa box, pole pole. Mm -hmm. But this one, it looks like, you feel like that song is about rape. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day. Very day. forceful, very aggressive, very... I don't know what I think is the one who is listening to Konashid. No, Zingine is very direct, mm -hmm. extremely in a way that it loses the sweetness. Mm -hmm. Because music is supposed to be something nice, something mm -hmm. enjoyable. But also that sparks in a fan of Kire, eh, mona linda ivi. Mona have lona sama yo song ya octo. Una joa ikona? Eh, but ikona una feel okay, iko sawa, you know. But ingine uki feel daku sju nini na alafu ni ku geuze alafu ni ku shikilia na miguu ni ku you know it just becomes maybe some people like it rough anyway, <laughs> but you never know but <laughs> let, let, let me ask yeah, but right yeah. now uh, you mm -hmm. as Vivian mm -hmm. Vivian Kenya v yeah. Vivian Omboy but I thought you are Kali I'm not you but cute. a lot of people think I'm Kali you yes. cute yeah I like asking people their tribe because I like I like knowing someone's tribe reason being I don't believe in yeah, tribal. tribeless I don't like I don't believe in tribeless you know why? Because I don't think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a push from a Kenyan. You know why I'm saying the same? Because I believe in culture. I believe in people knowing their culture. You know, our culture, let me tell you this, eh? I noticed that these Kikuyu guys, Luo's artists, yeah? They make a lot of money more than urban artists. Of course. Yeah? And Kujijua Neviema. Yes. I think people should not be tribal. Identity. People should not be tribal, but people should know their culture. It's actually good. 
me raising nakuru I, i believe it's actually a good thing because hey, unajua hey, so lose you, you cook your food like this uh, we cook our food like this because if you lose our identity in the name of trying to fight culture culture definitely ikona strength more because that's where your identity is rooted yeah. in but i feel like pia there are things about our culture si kila kitu mm-hmm. yenye ni poa kuna zingine na feel zime hold back watu but let me tell you to be sincere if if none so ya ku fight our, our culture is yeah. actually what ili amusha kenyan music Mm. The same thing. Uh, Janza T here it started from where we were born and how we were raised. Mm. Ah mtoto wangu anaenda shule ambao anaongea kizungu mtoto wangu. But you know we were colonized. Eh? So pia ni toka na wasi wenye wale But still, it's still you know Kenya is the only place where an artist from Nigeria will just do one song and a hit corner may hit up. And then anyone from outside and appear interview everywhere. Kenya is the only place that actually artists from everywhere start their interviews here. Why? Because it's a weak it's a weak country in terms of culture. It's easy to break in. Yeah, we were colon- very hard we to were break. we were colonized and then we didn't move on. Yeah, cuz you see it's very hard. <laughs> Although it's very hard to break in. Tanzania. Do you know Kenya is only one of the few countries where people drive on the left? But what could you Eh, it's even safer. Mm. If you read about driving, it's safer to drive on the right. It avo- reading a lot. Eh, eh in avoiding accidents. No, I'm a reader. Mimi I'm a, I'm a palm reader. Now, like in some people are billboard now. Kenya is sawa. Uko tu sawa. So so right mm. now uh Five years in the industry. Mm-hmm. Do how many awards? Kenya kuna awards, but how many awards? Kumini kuna award. How many awards? MC of the year. To put it away, kita sayi. But yes, Jai. Okay, what is in Kenya? I noticed. I noticed. When I was reading about you, I noticed, and not only you, the couple of artists that I'm, I'm, I'm lining up for my interviews, I noticed. But Kenya sasa awards, Kenya. awards ni gani? There was a, there was one ilikuwa inaitwaje? Bongo. Ilikuwa inaitwa nini? Kuna pass, kulikuwa ga insider. Nini ile ilikuwa inaitwaje? Bonga. Ilikuwa inaitwa nini? There was another one. Yeah. Like there are so many. Unajua? What's happening now at the Kenya? What's what's wrong? What's Iko <laughs> 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 Like every it's... big artist to be honest and to be sincere, I was I was, I was looking at the artists that I'm supposed to bring in. If an artist I'm missing award then it's not in Kenya. No. The only award that is in Kenya is group. Me the, the awards that I have are from corporates. Sina awards. Tunakwambia oh. Sina awards. We still have a long way to go. We We still have a long. I think it's that structure. You know our music industry still is not structured structure. properly. That's why you find even people who go out of their way to try and do mm-hmm. things. Mm-hmm. Uh even artists who try to bring up other artists when you work on a label and mm-hmm. such things mm-hmm. they really have a hard time yeah. and if you have a one on one conversation atakwambia hey let me let, let me ask you uh work as a music nini nuko umeambia wenye you like okay it's happening oh, what is more, it that that you, you're you know, not prepared for a lot of things because, because i believe like, we are in a generation where and i love the fact that we are in a generation where even parents believe in talents these days oh, yeah. investing in talent and all that but there's a lot of things that important talk things about. important things um and maybe i will just take you to the project i am currently mm-hmm. uh, working on mm-hmm. uh it's called dominate and the essence of dominate is dominating in your area of influence yeah whether you're in business whether you're in media whether you're in arts and entertainment and what it means to dominate in your area of influence just means being driven by the proper core values and i would take you back to some of the lies mm-hmm. <laughs> that i had when i was studying mm-hmm. you see we put so much emphasis on the music creating the music and all those things mm-hmm. but we don't understand who we are unaona so what happens on that day when for example how to release song one month so ama do, do you want to tell me you sit on that chair every day from morning to evening no i only do this on that day <laughs> <laughs> But kuna mtu anafikiria that's what Emos does mm. Monday to Monday mm-hmm. it's what defines you but life is about balance yeah. and that's what a lot of creative people have failed to achieve mm-hmm. that's why currently now number one, Kenya is the sixth most depressed country in Africa according to World Health Organization We're going to talk research. about that yes mm. so mostly mimi i interact with a lot of creatives mm. and i know so many people who've gone through lot of mental illness issues yeah. and we talk about it there's a time we had a long discussion with Naiboy about it mm-hmm. when he did uh, usipime mwanaume usipime mwanaume i got a tongue line time that was what he was talking about 
mental illness yeah. kwa mwanaume. Jukio mm. na hiyo video tuna na kanika na jinyonga yeah, ko yeah. confused. You know, na ni kitu emos affects kazi. But you see so badly mm. because people are not able when I did dominate uh Frasha came for the event. Mm-hmm. And Wahu and Nameless were doing a um, workshop on relationships. Yeah. So guys were asking questions, mm-hmm. purpose in relationships. Mm-hmm. So about wengi wanafikiri anga, eh, nikipata relationship ndiyo life yangu sasa it yeah, yeah. But if you don't know who you are, ata ukingia kwa yu relationship, sasa ndiyo utakuwa. Mtasumbuana. Mtasumbuana na ile bibaya. So he said he's been married for 15 years, mm-hmm. but amesumbuana na bibi yake for 13 years. Who knew in this country? You were saying they are the best couple. You were saying who, that the most stable. Who knew? Ca- no, no, not ever. not Wahoo and Nameless. Mm-hmm. Frasher mm-hmm. said he's been married for fifteen years. Fifteen years. But he's been fighting with his wife for thirteen years. Pizzo Dizzo came. Mm-hmm. She to- she talked about her story, mm-hmm. how she went through a season where she lost everything. Alkwaneshi mm-hmm. Kwaslam. She got a baby. She had nothing. She started washing toilets. Have you ever been depressed? I have had spaces where I have struggled with my stability. Because when, I didn't when know... You, you, are, you are Vivian Kenya? If, yeah. Yeah, I have. Cash-wise? Not cash-wise. Mentally and... The thing is this. What si happened? Si mini nani. I would say in that season... Nilikuwa na feel, ushai feel ni kama, mm. the world is against you. Yeah. But the world is not against you. Ni wewe tu, Ujijui. ujielewi. So, unajaribu kudeal na uyu, eh, sijui ya yuko, nini. Mm. And then when in that space, by the way what happens, you attract all the wrong things, you, yeah. because you're in the wrong space. Mm-hmm. Unagete? So, unajaribu kupigia producer, nifanyi, so hata vile unadeal na yeye, wewe, mbono uwe, nini, nini. Of course, hata taka story yako. Mm. Eh? Deal na director, wewe, bona, you manager. Start, you start saying Uko. that people, people are against you. People are against you. Anyone is against you. The it's, vibe that you produce. The vibe that you produce is what. You say away and then it, now you, exactly. you, you, you are depressed. You're pushing yes. people away but you think they're the problem. Yes. You think everyone else is a problem and, apart and from they are you. running from your problems. Exactly. So how did you, like, how did you encounter that? I would say I think I was very lucky because that is when mm. I traveled to the U.S. And so nikiwa uko, it was a whole different scenario. Mm-hmm. Uko, unajua niko tuko, natembea kwa street, na unajua sina hiyo pressure yenye neza experience nikiwa hapa. Mm-hmm. So I was able to find my balance. Then I went into spaces of mm-hmm. counseling and, and mentorship. And so that's why at an event, Nimerudi, a lot of people are telling me, hey, there's something even about you yeah. that's different. Something is different. Something mm. is different. But I feel like I had to go through that space. Also, because I feel like it's in my purpose mm-hmm. in terms of what God has set out for me. E gift alinipatia, pia wele gift uko nayo, uliomba sana di ukapewa? No. No? That's why I don't go now. I don't go to do go now. And that's what gifts are about. It's a bonus. Mm-hmm. But God gives you that. So that you use it to understand who you are. Yeah. Not so that it defines you. But many people are defined. What do by you think their, you? by their, come on a hit song, your hit song your way. What do you think, think from like that panel like right now? Actually, we need to have more spaces of music. Kenya is what? Sixth. Most depressed in Africa. That's why we all ranting on, on mm. the island. Mm. I didn't know that, but I noticed, but I didn't That's know why that. That's why Twitter is like a... So you see that they're they 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 in a mess. Mm, uko kuna kuanga messy. Mm. It's not a good thing, by the way. No. Our functionality is iko chini. Because we are all post, posting memes and all that. To try, eh, and, distract to try and distract ourselves. And that, but, but it's a good thing in, in, in business-wise. Comedians right now may drive like never, ever. 2019 comedians in Rwanda But Rona joy la depression iko kwa comedy industry wewe. I know but na kwambia in terms of you see guys want to see everything. What is thriving? Like, 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 so you you, like, you like, thrive, like, 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 like in terms of you have of, a show but ukifika home unafikiria vile utaenda. Sasa wacha na na hii ati 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 kugongwa na tree. Yeah, uh-huh. story of comedian being and all that. But I'm just saying that if you have noticed 2019 is where a lot of comedians are metokea. Yeah. A lot of comedians right now are celebrity. Yeah. This one being is like we as Kenyans right now, we're looking for anything that will make us money. Yeah. 
but we are not dealing with our issues. We are not dealing with our issues. So to may shift from, from <laughs> motivational speakers, guys who are telling us the real stuff, we just want to see. Comedy I think it's that's how it's packaged. Yeah. If you package something properly, people mm-hmm. will consume. So what do you think we should do? More talks? For me, for me, that's one of the reasons I'm doing Dominate. Mm-hmm. And Dominate in space, it's going a lot of diversity and inclusion. Mm-hmm. You know, when I was talking about it, and I was, so is it like a ghost spell event? I was like, no. Ni, it's a real. safe space mm-hmm. to come and be real. Yeah. It had both ghost spell, mm-hmm. guys from Kubamba came, they were the ones who were conducting the mm-hmm. hype and the whatever. Alafu kulikuwa tu na wasani wa kawaida. Kawaida tu, tu pengine ata aja ingi ya tatu. Unato wa people think. Sila, there are people who encounter God anywhere. Still as make church. Yeah. God uses anyone, mm-hmm. anywhere, you know. Mm-hmm. So I feel like we need to go through processes where people find healing. I think find themselves. Just of course. Like we should just. Eh. Hey. But yeah, you know, it's I ending. Don't, I, I don't think here in a, in a any way out. Just stop. Because. But I, it's very easy I, I, to judge. I believe. I believe. It's very I easy to judge. Judging is the most easiest thing to prepare anything. Of course. You judge someone that actually behaves just like you. Of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you guys, mm-hmm. the same people when you were called Sitam, mm-hmm. Nairobi Baptist Sunday Asubui, mm-hmm. you were 18, 24, Saturday Usiku. True. Are we clear? <laughs> nama, nama, na, na a lot of guys are sleeping around the Sunday afternoon after church. <laughs> That's the best time to go. Cool. So I'm saying, no. I'm going to get charged, man. So we need to be more compassionate. Let, 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 me, give you a story. let me give you a story. Mm-hmm. Now, there's, there's this lady. Mm-hmm. Uh, she wanted to bang me, yeah? Mm-hmm. And she knew I had a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, to kiwa kwa kia mwa kwa mbuki. Na hitu kwa kwa na watch TV. And you know what she said? Mm-hmm. Alko kwa na story. I think it was really poor damu. Na yeah. Mishu. Ha, damu no manaiza. Ya ni mtiku na bibi mzuri. Alafai. And then I'm looking at her like... Are you seeing yourself? Uh, I'm right here. You want to be made, you know, I have a girlfriend, which actually must have been a man. I'm not going to You understand? Like, we're so quick to judge, especially celebrities. How can you do that? Do you get that a lot? I get that. Even from you here, I've gotten it. That's why you're asking me. Hmm. So, what's your vibe? Unafanya accelerator, na unapenda God. Yeah. No, I'm just doing that for, for so that... I know you're doing that because you know that's what people yeah. will ask. Because I told you, the first thing to look at my old are you still doing music? I told you I'm, I'm in post because the type of show that I'm building right now is the show that I want people to talk and express themselves anyhow. Yeah. yeah. But if I do right now, I don't think I'm going to say that I do gospel music. But if I start now, like, hey, I'm going to Now, guys, we start taking that MCM also a gospel and what I'm saying. So, they will listen to what... freedom. They only listen to what I'm saying. They be like, but no, okay, you're not talk, supposed to talk about sex. And the person who is saying I'm not supposed to talk about sex, I wanna baba mtu kwa nyumba. You understand how this world is? People don't want me fight for for being real more than anything else. Yeah. My my peers on MBA, no, you're supposed to fight about souls and all. Now I'm like, we first need to be real. Yeah. And then we go through the healing. We go through the healing. You understand? Yeah. yeah. Like, people are not real. People are not. Real. But I I feel like. One thing I'm happy about this generation is mm-hmm. that I feel like they are more real. Ndiyo manu nabata. Eh, wanaji, unajua. Ile challenge tu hiko ni issues tu za maturity na wisdom. Lakini hizo, you know, you gain them over time. Kwa sababu, the decisions I used to make when I was 21 are not the decisions I'm making. Yeah. No. Kureyo difference. But the fact that they are making the space uncomfortable. Iyo ni poa. Mm. And you see, it's like easy stories and yet to na watch, yeah. gay, gays and whatever. Yeah. It's a fact. It might not be what we want, mm-hmm. but it's there. it's there. Let's talk about it. Let's not ignore it. Tuna ignore you know, you go to it disappear. It yeah. evaporates. You go to a point I asked myself when I was in high school, yeah. I noticed there are men who behave like ladies. Yeah. We didn't know about gays in my yeah. to just like hey, when I be. Uh then you go to a point, somebody told me like, but you're not supposed to support it, you know. I'm like but who created them? It's God. Why are behaving like why why is it different? How can a difference do like and like, like Konini yeah, yeah. Konini yeah, behave evil. He's he's I would say honestly, mm. he's sinning because I don't believe God intended for same sex marriages, mm. honestly as a Christian. Mm-hmm. However, Hakuna difference yeah, sin mm. 
na kamati ya roho chafu and gossipers <laughs> kwa kanisa there is yeah. no difference amos yeah. hakuna yeah. just because we are sinning differently when yeah. Jesus are well uko ni... sisi wote tuko mbele yeah. ya judgment ya Mungu yeah. we need to work on our hearts yeah. and i always tell people even when you're telling people about god yeah. kama unaona mtu uh, akona because religion imekuwa kitu kingine watu wanaona eh hey, hii ni judgment nini yeah. show people through your actions be kind the best be way to you know through your actions It's always three actions. The best way to eh. Push. Stop putting in. Uki, Ukikaa unajua Bible yote na unapiganga watu, you are a woman batara. Mm. What? You you always talk about that. Oh yeah. A lot. I've had a lot of your interviews since then. I well, it's something I put out. Uh Did you went through that. At some time. Yes, I have been abused by a guy. Um but it happened once. But I felt like I needed to talk about it mm-hmm. because we always think that abuse happens in certain corners. Yeah. But it happens so many people mm-hmm. have gone through physical abuse. Mwingine hata ukikutana na hivi unasema aki uwezi kwa alienda through your kitchen. You know. Yeah. So it's a dent in our society and we just need to address it. Yeah. So that's why I put it out then of One course thing people I've picked it up. from this conversation that we need to talk about things. We, we need oh, yeah. to have conversation about things. Oh yeah. We are hiding through memes. Yeah, people need to deal with stuff and talk about it. Yeah. And you're doing that right now. Yes. How is it? Doing what? The talks that you're doing right now. I'm happy about it. Do, do you find people who come and like from your talk I've found this and this. I've, I've changed. Oh, yeah, I've, yeah, I've yeah, noticed yeah. that I was not alone because oh, yeah. people think that they're alone and that's the oh, biggest yeah. problem. Like the moment <laughs> Vivian akiongea I'm talking about Aya. Kumbe siko peke yangu. So what I'm mm. going through is something that actually yes. a celebrity can go through. Yes. To. Yes. So it's important to talk about it. It is. You're doing this in Kenya like Yote? The dominate? Yeah. Yes. We did the first one in at St. Christopher's mm-hmm. it was on November 16. Mm-hmm. We're doing January Nakuru. Yeah. February we are doing Nairobi again. Yeah. March I think we're doing Meru. We are doing Nairobi outside town, Nairobi outside town. Yeah. And I feel like even my maturity as an artist and more so a female artist enables me to get into such spheres because i'm not saying that i will stop doing my music music is part of who i am mm-hmm. i will always release music mm-hmm. but i feel like we need to stop confining ourselves because if you have a space where you can influence and talk to people please utilize it please yeah please and feed yourself properly so that whatever you put out there equal to your mana mm-hmm. get get into spaces of community una get your story of loneliness mm-hmm. but the depression ya inchi pia mingi ni loneliness i believe that i know You know eh? Ah, bibi yote ngwambe ile story ndakuja siku moja kuna interview. Ebu tell me about what happened with you. I was big. Mm-hmm. I was MCM, man. Yes. You still MCM. Ah, kuna sana kwa mbaya, mimi siko tembea kwa street. Nilikuwa na kwa radio, you know. Mhm. Your boss was my boss. Yes. And they still my friend to date. And sasa yaga tobafala. Sijui ni namsema wala. Some ways yenyewe Mungu akuoneka nini. Now, nimetoka kwa radio. Aha. Sijali for rent for three months. Yeah. I'm talking about 6k per month. Yeah. Not 26k. Yeah. And agent ananijua baka ni kweli FCM uko nini? Eh, what's happening? And I found out that apparently the people that I surrounded myself with mm. what any artist. Mm. Like I couldn't even on gear now more than music. Mm. And you're not quite radio. You, you mm. won't play my song. Mm. They they're not calling me anymore to ask me and they are. Mm. Alafu nyumba iko baka na bari. Ndio pia wewe itachangia sana. Mm. So I'm there I can call my fans. Yeah. I can post it on Facebook and yeah. need help. Yeah. I'm doing now posters. Ni atano at least na sedia man. Eh. And then now the fact that you are a man. Eh, hiyo pia ni shida. Yes, you're not supposed to cry. Uh, you're not supposed to express about. Yes. You can't call your parents or do kona shida. Yeah. When MCA was a fan kazi kwa radio. Mm. Na yeah. nilifungia kwa nyumba for more than 3 months. Bila kutoka and you see what you are saying actually related cause no na kuna semaje ati nafika malo nunglesha watu vifanye eh oh oh juu yes <laughs> you got to point that another kipata na msaada kwa hoteli we are not talking about the food we are not talking about the environment i have that that spirit eh too. uko na ka spirit kingine kabaya unajua unajua you are not to advise people about relationship about friendship it's not even advising uko na tu uko na ka <laughs> ka, ka space kabaya yeah. so hata ile kitu unaambia mtu anashindwa guy Uh, <laughs> I 
I used to talk now to and then remember I brother to from nowhere. And people think it's funny when you ask someone who hurt you. Yes. People think it's funny. But I'm like, oh, Lisa, you know, 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 And yeah. I told people, when I'm going to start my interviews, I'm not going to talk about her. Yeah. I'm going to talk about what I actually know what's happening yes. in this generation. But yeah. as a man, you're not supposed to cry as a man. You're not supposed to talk about yeah. some things. You talk about name. Oh, yes. You know, I, as a lady, when you're in a relationship, you're not supposed to expose about your husband. Yes. You know that. So, zing is it. Eh. Una the jam. moment you have to go suicide. Mm. You know, the moment people come to know about what you're going through, yeah. it's when you're already dead. Yes. And I like what you're doing. I like the fact that so for you right now, what do you think? Uh, what is Zambia need like a lady who wants to be in the industry? Things that they I you think being role me, I Zambia would say need, one five things, three things that you actually feel like when you're in the industry, you una wish me jua before I think for me most importantly, una jua kunanga formula na kila mtu akona jamii yake, but know who you are. Yeah. Alafu have pray to god to give you the right people hata kama ni wawili ama watatu unagete people who actually care about you for you yeah. not for your celebrity status mm-hmm, mm-hmm. unagete yeah. just for you because you're also human so mm-hmm. there are many days in fact celebrities go through more human problems <laughs> you know mm-hmm. so i would say don't don't over consume the hype mm-hmm. Use it where you need to, mm-hmm. for showbiz, to make your money, you know, find the spaces, do your hard work, keep pushing. And there are a lot of people who are doing it. I like it. But if you don't know who you are, ijalishi ata kama ukona hit song gani, utakona itua show na uwezi enda. Ama unaitua show, you are drunk as a whatever, kwa stage. Uwezi imba, uwezi fanya anything. Because you're so sick hapa. Know who you are first. Know who you are. Even before we get a relationship. Where do you have nani? Ongeanga na mungu. Na ujue, it's about your heart. Na ujue, kila mna, kila, musema, God is dealing with all of us individually. Yeah. Kuna ma, dhambi ulifanya, kuna mtu anajua, but where do you have God anajua? Na anadili na we, by the way. Yeah. Ushu anza na unashindua, hey, kuna kitu ni mwekwa nikichesi na I come through. Yeah. Hey, chunguza, life yako, jaribu and do yeah. uh, understand you're human because peer the problem with celebrity status is you feel like you're an element of self-importance mm. is uh, bad yeah. know your value but don't because you're who and who and who and who and who and who ah tutu unatemea mate ndiyo anotakuja kukusaidia chill too Go on interview to check up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is YTS hashtag MZM also clock and I'm yes. going to Thank you for passing by. Thank you. And thank you for the work that you're doing right now. I'm seeing you, you're doing a good job. As like we should all stop the hype first. Let's talk. Yes. Not, not a serious talk. Yes. Sure. This is why I was too yes. Worried, but, but let's break talk. the ice. Let's talk. Mm-hmm. Like, Tongetu. Tongetu. And I didn't know. When you went to Africa, I didn't know that this is uh, six. Six what? Depressed country. Oh yeah, six most depressed country in Africa. Na see at easy my research World Health Organization. Six. And the, and the problem is we are not talking. That's the only Yeah, the problem I... is by the way we are just not talking. And so when you don't talk about something, mm. akuna vile unaweza pata solution. Just be amused and uh, get hyped with the music that you see online and the likes you see on Instagram. Some people read, some people know what they're doing with their life. You can go follow her on Instagram, on Facebook, and in every avenue, Vivian Kenya. Get more informed about these things. She's a celebrity. She has million views on Instagram, on YouTube, on TikTok. Hey, so you had a... You don't feel what? Feel me. Feel me. I saw you on Sour. But after all that hype and after all that, ladies and gentlemen, it's reality. Oh yeah. Dio mana hiyo statement ya vitu kwa ground ni what? Different. Ni different. And it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. But then your sentence in a summarize kila kitu. Nele ule msee anaitwa Steve Simple boy. Mm. Ina umiza lakini. Ina umiza lakini itabidi uzoe. Yes. But usizoe. Usizoe shida. Usizoe but Poba is not godly. <laughs> <laughs> no, ni kama ukipashwa inauma but ni poa usikize. Yeah. 
Thank you, my brother. God bless you. Amazing space you have here. And thank you for accepting to come through. No problem. I'm so proud of you. I think Sai Ntapata Pia Picha. Thank God Sai. I think I'm going to get a picture. I'm going to get a picture. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been real. It's been awesome. It's been burning. It's been blazing. This right here is hashtag MCM Oso Clock with your host MCM Oso Vima. And please don't forget to turn on the notifications so that you can be notified every time we go live on YouTube at I am Amos Facebook MCM was the Vima. See you next time. Next time, same place, different outfit, different conversation. This right here is hashtag MCM Oso Clock. God bless Kenya. God bless Mawanga. Thank <laughs> you.